everyone. Welcome to Victoria, British Columbia. I've partnered up with Air Canada Vacations and Tourism Victoria to explore the city and showcase some of the best things to do while you're here. Located on Vancouver Island, Victoria is a laid-back city with historic architecture, unique neighbourhoods and a culinary scene that has people taking note. Boasting the mildest climate in all of Canada, Victoria is green year-round and everywhere you look, there are beautiful gardens and green spaces to enjoy. Now the most expensive part of any vacation is of course the flights and accommodations. So when you package those together with Air Canada Vacations, getting here is not only easier, it's cheaper. With daily non-stop flights operating from Toronto's Pearson International Airport, new safety measures are in place to ensure passenger safety for the duration of your journey. And just five hours later, you'll touch down in Victoria. Need a car rental? You can also pre-arrange that too. For accommodations, Air Canada Vacations works with a number of different hotels in Victoria, including the Inn at Laurel Point. This boutique waterfront hotel is located in the historic Inner Harbour. Proudly owned and operated locally, the Inn at Laurel Point boasts excellent service and exceptional views, and is British Columbia's first carbon neutral hotel. You can choose from a variety of room options, from studios to suites, to suit your budget and needs. Amenities include a pool and fitness room, beautiful private gardens with a salt water reflecting pool, in-room dining, and the award-winning Orr Waterfront Restaurant and Patio, serving up small plates inspired by international flavors using local farm direct ingredients. Now that you're all settled in, it's time to explore the city. And this part of the trip is entirely up to you. You can make your own schedule, but I'm gonna highlight some of the best things you can do when you're here. When I arrive to a destination for the first time, I like to take a tour. This gives me the chance to get a sense of a city, to see some of the top spots and learn some of its history. Now, a fun way to get to know Victoria is on a cycling tour. And one of the best tour companies to do this with is the Peddler. They offer a number of guided tours, including the Castles, Hoods and Legends Tour. On this two hour tour, you'll explore the unique neighborhoods that surround Victoria. You'll stop at some of the iconic landmarks like the Legislature Building, Chinatown, Craigdetta Castle and Beacon Hill Park. The terrain is mostly flat with a few hilly sections and is suitable for all cycling abilities. You'll cover about 11 kilometers in total and you'll see why Victoria is recognized as the cycling capital of Canada. If cycling isn't your thing, then join a walking tour with Discover the Past Walking Tours. Offering history tours by day and ghostly walks by night, these walking tours dive into some of Victoria's fascinating and fun historical facts. On the Chinatown walking tour, you'll get a chance to learn about Canada's oldest Chinatown and what life was like for the Chinese and their families in the late 1800s and early 1900s. You'll visit some shops, a temple, and explore some of the narrow alleyways, including Canada's narrowest street, Fantan Alley. The tour is led by one of Victoria's leading historians, John Adams, and runs for about an hour and a half. If you're visiting Victoria between May and October, don't miss out on a whale watching experience. One of the best companies to do this with is Eagle Wing Tours. They operate out of the colorful Fisherman's Wharf and run daily tours across their fleet of boats. Each of their tours run for about three and a half to four hours in length and are the most comprehensive whale and wildlife tours in the industry. On the tour, you're likely to spot humpback and orca whales, along with a variety of other wildlife, including sea lions and bald eagles. Throughout the tour, guides provide information and facts about whales, their behaviors, and how their movements are tracked each year. Eagle Wing Tours is locally owned and operated and is 100% carbon neutral through sustainability efforts and carbon offsetting. And $5 from every ticket price goes towards wildlife conservation efforts in the area. To learn more about British Columbia, head to the Royal BC Museum. Founded in 1886, the Royal BC Museum showcases British Columbia's human and natural history. Featuring a collection of galleries spread across 26,000 square feet of indoor exhibits, visitors can learn about the province's history through detailed displays and lifelike dioramas. 
In addition to the permanent exhibits, they also showcase two temporary exhibits each year, including images from the annual Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition. This exhibit showcases the best in natural photography from images captured all over the world. Each print gives details about the image and the gear used to capture it. If you have a car or you've rented a car, make a trip up the Saanich Peninsula and visit the Butchart Gardens. This National Historic Site of Canada was once the home of Robert and Jenny Butchard, who originally used limestone deposits on the property to supply their cement factory. In the early 1900s, Jenny had the idea to transform the space into a collection of gardens. Today, visitors can enjoy over 1 million bedded plants from 900 varieties spread across 55 acres. There are four main gardens, all with different themes, including the Italian Garden, Japanese Garden, the Rose Garden, and the Sunken Garden, located in the former limestone quarry. The gardens are meticulously maintained and can be enjoyed year round. Now, if you prefer to book your activities ahead of time, you can do this at aircanadavacations.com. Click on the activities tab, indicate the dates you'll be in destination, and then choose which activities you'd like to add to your trip. On your way back down to Victoria, make a stop into Sea Cider Farm and Cider House. Opened in 2007, this 10-acre certified organic farm produces a wide selection of ciders from over 50 varieties of apples grown on their farm. All ciders are produced on site and include sparkling and fortified ciders. Grab a table in their tasting room or on the outdoor deck and sample a flight of three or six ciders. There's also some snacks you can enjoy with your ciders, including the artisan meat and cheese plate. When you're done, purchase your favorite ciders to go and feel free to explore the orchards. Now, speaking of food, Victoria is developing quite a culinary scene. In fact, I could probably film a separate video just highlighting some of the best places to eat. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna showcase a few spots that I highly recommend. For Italian cuisine, head to Il Covo Trattoria. This family-run restaurant serves up colorful cocktails, antipasto curated from Italy, and delicious pasta and main entree dishes in a cozy patio setting. For a farm-to-table experience at its finest, head to 10 Acres Commons. Located right in downtown Victoria, their locally and seasonally inspired menu features organic produce grown on their 10-acre farm and sustainable seafood and ethically raised farm animals sourced from local providers. If you're looking for vegan, dairy, or gluten-free options, head to Nourish Kitchen and Cafe. Located inside a heritage home, this community space features a culinary market, a space for community arts and education, and a casual restaurant and cafe. Order inside and enjoy your food outside on their patio. For a taste of afternoon tea culture, pop into White Heather Tea Room and pick up one of their tea boxes. Operating for over 20 years, their miniature sandwiches and pastries are made fresh every day using locally sourced ingredients. Take your tea box to a nearby Parker Beach and enjoy an afternoon picnic. Well, if you're looking for a destination that is a little bit more slower paced, but still has a lot of really great things to see and do, then definitely look into booking a trip here to Victoria. I want to give a big thank you to Air Canada Vacations and Tours Victoria for partnering with me on this video. And if you have any more recommendations for things to do, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.